The Million Calorie March follows the Florida to Boston journey of Gary Marino. But Gary isn't some super athlete breaking world records. He is a food addict who once tipped the scales at 397 pounds and whose personal battle of the bulge inspired him to launch a national walk for obesity. Now, Barry Nolan sat down and talked to the man People Magazine called the anti-fat crusader. So what if obesity had its own walk? And what if that walk could raise funds to prevent future little Gary Marinos? I came up with a crazy idea I was sure would get some attention. And after three years and a lot of hard work, it finally came together. I called it the Million Calorie March. So far, he's lost 130 pounds and counting. And now he wants to spread the word, so he's walking from Florida to Boston. That's a clip from the Million Calorie March and the man who did the march, Gary Marino. First of all, congratulations on making it from Florida to Boston. Thank you. And congratulations on this movie. This is really an engaging movie that uh, Nate, makes me want to go out and walk every day. But really? to tell you the truth, it also made me a little bit want Hungry. a milkshake and a cake. <laughs> yeah, it does have that effect, as does my book, you know. Uh, thank you. It was a difficult subject to make a film about, but I think we pulled it off. You know? One of the things that uh, you said about yourself is that uh, at one point you were one Super Bowl party away from 400 pounds. 397. 397, 397 pounds. What the hell happened in my life that I got this big? 397 pounds. This thing's killing me Elvis style. What's the capacity of the average elevator? They'll have to start showering me in the car wash. How much money should I leave my nieces and nephews? How many of my friends will it take to carry my casket? 397. And then you get this idea to do this this movie and a march right. together. Uh, none of it is as easy as it <laughs> looks when you, when you have a nice book and you have a nice movie. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip from the film, um, The uh, Million Calorie March, about how things on the road can get bumpy. Apparently, they're going to check in and uh, misjudged the lobby. We drive under by about, oh, I don't know, three feet. You said all it took out was the solar panel. Uh, it looks worse than that to me. What is that unit? That's the air conditioner. Uh -oh. I see and read about people that are doing something to raise money for some good cause all the time. They're, mm -hmm. you know, they're running to Colorado or they're crawling someplace <laughs> or they're mowing the lawn around the world. And I think, well, good luck to you. It's not as easy to put together mm -hmm. the event as some people may think, no. and it's not as easy to raise the money. No, no. I, you know, I made every mistake you could possibly make on an event like this, and that's part of the learning process. And you honestly, you, you put it in the film. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm all about being human, <laughs> you know? I'm all about being human and, and showing myself for what I really am. <laughs> I can't put it any other way than that, you know? It, and heck, you know, it makes for an entertaining film, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It's the truth. <laughs> I walk six miles a day for the last three years. I've never had any of these issues. I love walking, and I love the scenery, and I love the project. Uh, but this makes it hard to love anything. Gary looks at food the way I looked at alcohol. It was a lustful experience to even listen to him to anticipate dinner. We don't look at food in the same way. Now, here's a question. The cakes you make, what, what, what kind of cake? Red velvet. Red velvet, what's Orange in that? Orange pineapple. Oh, Always yeah. very fattening. <laughs> what's German what I'm chocolate? talking about? German chocolate. German chocolate? Mm-hmm. Homemade icing. Who taught you such an evil thing? <laughs> One of your colleagues in the film says very interestingly that two of your colleagues who go with you are people that say they're recovering themselves yep. from addictions, alcohol. Yep. And uh, one says, you know, I, I'm an alcoholic and I can't drink. I know I can't drink. If yep. I drink again, uh, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. But you, as a food mm -hmm. addict, mm -hmm. you don't really have the, the luxury right. of stopping eating altogether. You have to eat and control it every day. Exactly. And it's, you know, we really make that point that the link to alcoholism in the film, you know, that uh, uh, they're very similar. You know, alcoholics have a similar um, uh, situation, similar struggle, but at the end of the day, they have the option of abstinence, and, and food addicts don't. You know? As we get uh, ready to go to break, let's take another look at a clip from a terrific film I highly recommend The Million Calorie March with Gary Marino.
it is important we have people like Gary, ordinary guys who decide they've had enough and they're going to go out and do something about it. I think we need to laugh at the insanity of the condition and then look in the mirror and get serious about it as a country. Laugh at the insanity of the weight loss industry and how hard this is to overcome and then look in the mirror and fight the good fight. An inspiring story. Thanks, Barry.